Hey everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the car for another car review. Today I'm going to be doing a review of something from Dunkin' Donuts. Um, the first thing I want to review is this new donut. It's called their Dunk Fetty, which is a confetti uh, play on words. I think it's because of it's someone's birthday, maybe Dunkin' Donuts birthday. But anyway, it's basically a cake donut frosted, and if you look through the middle, there's little sprinkles on it. There is nothing special about this donut. I'm just eating it to help my coffee cool down. It's a sweet, glazed cake donut. Like I said, nothing special. There's not even a whole lot of the sprinkles in it. It's like a 7.8 out of 10. Here's a thing that I was interested in trying. This is the Dunkin' Supercharged Coffee. So this is have 20% more caffeine than normal coffee. One thing that I noticed, and this was after the fact I had ordered it. You can order the supercharged in three types. You get the supercharged, well actually four types. You can get it in, what I got it in is their original blend hot. You can also get the supercharged in their original blend iced. But then they have these two other new flavors. They have a, a Dunkin' Midnight and like a um, Explorer blend, I think it's called. But I didn't know that those were something you could get in the supercharge. I thought those were just another kind of coffee. I thought they had the regular, I had that thought they had those two new ones, and then I thought they had the supercharged. But apparently the supercharged is a way to get all the other kinds. So do they have like eight pots of coffee? So they have regular, regular supercharged, midnight, midnight supercharged, explore, explore supercharged, regular iced, and regular iced supercharged. I don't think that's what they do. I think they have, I think for the supercharged, they're adding something to it. Maybe they have like an, uh, a caffeine liquid or a caffeine powder that they're adding to it. I wasn't paying attention enough to really figure that out. But... With nothing to really to compare it to, I'm going to do my best to taste it and tell you what I think. I got two cream and two sugars in mine. There is a weird flavor in here. It's not completely off-putting, and if you didn't tell me that this was any different than a regular coffee, I probably would never second-guess, and I would just keep drinking it, but since I know there's a difference and I'm looking for a difference, it's almost like if someone gave you uh, Coke Zero and didn't tell you what it is, you might not be able to tell, but if you know it's Coke Zero, you're tending to think that there's some kind of off flavor. To me, it tastes like definitely something's been added. Like a, like a vitamin mix or something. But this is minerally, I want to say, which makes sense. Because I think caffeine naturally comes in like a powdery, minerally look. To it by itself. Um, I can't give you uh, uh, any review of how more energized I am. I feel like I'm energized as I would be with a couple sips of coffee in me, um, but uh, 
it definitely tastes different, but it's not too different that it's bad. Um, I'm going to give the Duncan Supercharged Coffee Edition. I'm going to give it a 7.3 out of 10. It's okay. It's not bad. Um, so there you go. The Dunk Fetty Donut and the Supercharged Coffee. That's a review. Hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. See you later. Bye. Hello everyone. This is John. The audio might be a little bit sucky on this one because my microphone that I typically have in my car forgot I used it for something else. Um, so it's not in here. So this is just going to be recorded from the uh, built-in microphone. So hopefully I project enough that you can hear it. Anyway, today um, I'm kind of doing a second part. I think I'm just going to add this on to my other video. This is for Dunkin Donuts and their new coffees. Uh, the last time I tried the regular coffee with the supercharge and it kind of tasted it weird. Um, when I went there today, I asked them exactly what it was and they said it was a, like a liquid pump and they said it was basically straight caffeine, very strong. And they just two, do a couple pumps into the drink that you order to make it supercharge. But today I'm not going to do supercharge. I'm going to do the two new coffees, the Explorer and the Midnight one. Both times I got a small with two creams and two sugars. This one is the Explorer. It's supposed to be the medium roast. Apparently the regular roast is supposed to be a light roast. So uh, for years when they only had their one type of coffee, it was always a light roast, I guess. Um, anyway, let's try the Explorer coffee. Hopefully it's not too hot. That will blow my mouth apart. Again, you can get either one of these with the supercharge added. But these only come in the hot variety. Only their original coffee is offered as an iced coffee. I'll tell you, it tastes better than the stuff that I had last time. Okay. I think I've got a good idea what that tastes like. This is the Midnight. Even the uh, the stain on top of this one. I don't know if you have the camera to pick this up. That's the Midnight cup with the stain on it. And here is the Explorer cup with a stain on it. The Midnight stain looks darker. Which is a good thing because it's a dark roast compared to a medium roast. Try not to spill all this either. All right, let's try the Midnight. Definitely. Definitely a lot darker. And the Midnight one's not as hot. I wonder if it might have been sitting around a little longer than the other one. The Midnight one is a very rich, dark, they say it's chocolatey, I wouldn't necessarily call it chocolatey, but uh, in the sense that you, you would regularly taste chocolate, uh, it's more of a chocolate in a baker's chocolate, that really bitter, earthy chocolate without any sugar to it, the chocolate with no sugar and no milk. It's just that raw cocoa, cacao type flavor. We'll go back to the Explorer one. It's interesting they, that both had two creams, two sugars. Yet yeah, this one tastes a lot sweeter. And a lot creamier. 
but this one they described it as having a a berry flavor in their description um I think when you're describing things like coffee bean flavor and aromas it kind of so, it tends to sound a lot like the hoity-toity wine tasters like it's saying like this tastes like pears or apricots and it's like well it's just grapes so it should just taste like grapes kind of thing but uh you have to describe it by not repeating what it is so when it says berries okay it kind of tastes like uh if you were sucking on a cherry stone um there's still some berry flavor on it, but you're getting a lot of like uh, bitterness that you would get from the the seed of a cherry um, if you held it in your mouth for long enough. Anyway, um, for both of these, I like them. I like them way better than the supercharged original I had uh, last time. Um, oh, I have one more thing. This the advertising is new, but the Duncan Fudge Brownie gluten-free so what's in it if it's gluten-free there's post potato starch so instead of a wheat flour they use a potato flour first ingredient is sugar so should be good sugar canola oil eggs potato starch cocoa alkali processed Salt, xanthan gum, natural flavor, vanilla, chocolate flavor. There we go. Just have that dark fudginess you want in a brownie. It does taste kind of old prepackaged. They do have this handwritten sell by date. This is 1 slash 21 in case you can see it. It's not my favorite brownie for sure. But it is and chocolate brownie. And in that respect, it's got sweetness, it's got chocolate in it. Overall, I would give it like a 6.8 out of 10 for the brownie. Uh, as the two coffees go, I really like the dark one for like a change up when you want something with some more richer, bolder flavor. Um, I'm going to give the midnight one a 7.7 .7 out of 10. And the Explorer Batch. I actually like it a little bit better as like a uh, consistent regular go-to coffee uh, whereas their original is kind of too light not too much flavor the supercharged addition they added to it just really took over the flavor of it which I think is because it's so light in flavor itself um, so the the uh, their medium roast which is the Explore batch was actually a good uh, go-to flavor in my opinion it has a, a really good amount of flavor to it um, but an, but it's not like so super dark and bitter like the midnight one I guess unless that's something you really like in your coffee uh, this one seems to be um, my favorite uh, out of those three and for that reason I'm gonna give it an 8.3 on the rating scale out of 10 and that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. What's your go-to coffee odor at Dunkin' Donuts when you go there? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Until next time, see you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.